When it comes to leukemia with CML, right? Obviously, your WBC is going to be high, right? What's going to happen to your RBCs and hemoglobin? A general concept for any leukemia, this is your bone marrow, right? If you're producing too much WBC, is it going to take up all the space? And because you go from one basic cell to every different type of cell, right? From your pluripotent stem cell, you go to a WBC. You go to an RBC, you go to a platelet, right? So if everything is getting triggered to go in the direction of WBC, would that lead to anemia and thrombocytopenia? Yes, it would. So always you're going to have anemia and thrombocytopenia in these patients. Okay? So pretty much across the board, all leukemic patients, you'll have this picture. Elevated WBC, anemia, thrombocytopenia. Now when it comes to symptoms, you'll have symptoms of anemia, such as dizziness, fatigue, shortness of breath, right? If it comes to thrombocytopenia, you're going to have all your bleeding problems, right? When it comes to WBCs, you have a lot of WBCs. Does that mean you're protected from infections? You're not. 